What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a photo from China's Zhurong rover. Now, I believe it was 2021 of May that it landed on Mars. Uh, when I show you the photo, it looks very similar to what NASA JPL puts out. This orangey, pukey color all over the photo. And I'm going to show you a couple little signs that just make a red flag go off in your head. Let's just jump right into it. This is interesting. All right, so this is the photo we're going to have a look at. Okay, now... You can go here, and I'll give you both of these sites so you can check this out yourself. Now, you can see it's right here, Wednesday, May 11, 2022. This is the updated version. If we go to this page, you can see it right here. China just became the second country to drive a rover on the surface of Mars. And it has a video here, and it shows the actual, supposedly, in Mars orbit type thing, right? And you can see it right here. It says, China's wrong rover left its landing platform and drove on the surface of Mars on Saturday, state media reported making the country only the second after the U.S. to land and operate a rover on the Red Planet. Now, if you go to this page, China's rover makes surprising water discovery on Mars landing site, or at Mars landing site. And you can see right here, China's Zhurong rover has found evidence suggesting that water persisted on Mars for much longer than expected. Surprise, surprise. The rover's primary mission, which lasted for three months, was to search for signs of ancient life. Here we go again, right? Just like NASA does. It has investigated the minerals, environment, and distribution of water and ice in the plain, which is all part of the largest impact basin on the Martian northern lowlands. The rover continues to explore its landing site and send information back to the Tioan 1 orbiter circling the planet. Okay, so keep in mind, folks, this lander landed in the Utopia Planitia basin, right? This is the same area that the Viking 2 landed back in 1976. Imagine that. Why would they do that? Because this is the area where it had the large explosion and then south, a little south and east of that area in the chaos region, there was an actual smaller explosion. So imagine that, that all of these rovers and landers are all around this area. Hmm. Okay. So this is the photo I was looking at right here. And I screen grab this and I'm going to show you this right now up close. Folks, this is not the clearest photo and it's been completely censored out. Okay, so let me show you the areas that are really of interest and caught my eye big time. Okay, right off the bat, we get this really long sand dune right here, coming from left to right, halfway into the photo. Okay, here's the lander way, way in the back, top right. Okay, and you can see the wheel marks from the Zorong rover. You can see that. But did it come from this direction? Absolutely not. So when I show you what's in this photo, you're going to be like, oh, good God, there's no way this rover traveled through this unless they decided to run over everything, all right? So let's zoom in a little bit, okay? Now, folks, look at the straight line from the right-hand side of this photo, where the lander is. You see the straight line coming from right, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, and it looks like it stops right there, but it doesn't. There's a bunch of blurring, and you can see another straight line going just like this here, all the way to the left-hand side of this photo. Now, notice this darker rectangular areas, okay? And when I show you this area right here, there is a straight line with an angle and goes to the right. This sand dune is not a sand dune at all. Let's just get into Photoshop. I want to show you this. Okay, you see the photo here. Again, lander, Zhurong rover, wheel box. Notice how they just stop right there. Why? It didn't come from this direction. Let me show you the back of this, folks. It gets a little blurry. But right here, you can see a line. And if you folks take these and put them into Photoshop yourself, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. There's an angle line that does that, okay? There is something right here that's doing this, comes down, and appears to do this here. So let's clear it up a little bit, or at least get rid of some of this color. Okay. Notice you can now see this area a little bit better. Again, this line's doing this, okay? And we have these weird, what look like darker rectangular areas. What is going on there? But again, this thing looks like some kind of overhang. Now you can see this thing a little bit better going like this. Folks, look over here. This is neat. This gets really, really cool. 
Notice a bunch of the blurring. I mean, look at this. Blur, blur, blur everywhere you look. But look between the blur, these two objects. Notice how they are a little bit white and lighter than the surrounding areas. These are the things we need to see. These are the things we need to enhance. There's a bunch of it here, folks. Here. Bits and pieces, but we can try to blast through it. And I do that. And then I'm going to break it down into color for you. So let's back out just a hair bit. Now, folks, check this out. We're just starting to bring it through. Again, just this area alone. There's that line I was telling you about. Now I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to have a look at this thing because you want to try to find that line. Okay. You can see the line if you look at it closely. This one as well, this line right here. Okay. To me, it looks like some kind of structure. And of course, this is pure speculation because we're not sure, but you can see these other little wild designs and little pieces. Okay. Again, white pieces underneath this spot blurring. And of course, color as well. You can see this. These here. Folks, it actually looks like there's a pipe sticking out right here. Coming straight out of that thing. Here. Notice the white pieces underneath this spot blurring. Here. Again, put the same color over the whole photo and you'd be none the wiser. It hides these items quite well. All over here. There's, again, there's no way this lander landed there. And then this rover found its way over to this area like this. There's no way. All right, so let me back up. Now, let me go back to the original real quick. Right here. Notice in this sand dune, you can see it running over here. Okay. But there's an object standing up right there, folks. It's doing this. Let's see if I can't get it pretty darn close to where it's supposed to be. Okay. It's doing this and then coming back down. At least it looks very similar to that. There's an object sitting right here. Here's the thing, folks. I said this a million times. If I was to have a bunch of objects here, I'm just going to make any shape. doesn't matter what it is, right? Okay. Uh, this object I just showed you right here doing this. Okay, doing this and then back down. Looks like it's doing this and then back down. If there's all individual pieces, all I have to do is put like a haze type thing over the whole thing so you don't see anything individually. You'll just see just a blurry area, what looks like maybe some highlighted areas that could be part of this so-called dune. Is it really a dune? It is not. So again, object, other objects. Let's keep going into it. Okay. Keep going. Notice this object is starting to be more pronounced. We have other objects laying here. Also take note of this edge of this thing. Okay, what is going on there? Notice the shape of that, the edge right here. How is that possible? There's something right here. Folks, this is not a sand dune at all. Okay, now you can see the background. Starting to see it a little bit more. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add more white to anything that's already white in here. See if we can't pop it. Let's back out a little bit. From left to right. Again, this line here is what gave the whole picture away. I saw that and I saw this part right here. But that's all I saw in this photo right off the bat. But I also noticed the whiter areas out of all of this photo. You can see that. Let's keep going. Again, we have this piece right here. Right there. And there's multiple pieces. One here, one here, one here, one here. Whatever that is, I couldn't even begin to tell you what these things are. But notice at the very end of this dune, on the right, just over this little dish here on the rover, you can see where this thing actually comes down, slants down, and has an abrupt edge. It does this too. Look at this. Also notice the little piece at the very end of this dune, so-called dune. Right there in that circle. Again, here. This whole end of this thing. This is a dune? I don't think so. Notice the greens and the weird colors in here. This is a spot blurring centering kind of thing. That it could be blue. It could be green. It could be anything. It depends on how dense this centering is. Okay. 
notice now we can start to see the background a little bit better. You see white things all over this photo. It's from here down. It's not just in the very back. Okay. See that? Let's back up. All right, folks. Now let's do a black and white and start to bring this out more and more. Made it a little bit darker. You can see the difference. We brought up the contrast a little bit. Okay. Here is the finished product here, folks. Like I said, there's no way at all that this rover meandered all the way from that lander to here without running over everything. There's just no way around this, folks. We have what looks like a pipe sticking out right here. This is the one I showed you earlier. It looks like it's coming straight out. Right here. And going back in. You see that? Again, you can see other pieces here doing the same thing. What looks like almost like a small pipe. But you can see bits and pieces of white objects sitting in here. Notice the blur that's taking out half of these items. You can see that. And again, this sand dune is no sand dune at all. I'm not even sure what to make of this, but they're pretty crafty, I have to admit. It's clearly some kind of weird machinery or something that's intelligently made. These are not natural rocks or any of that sort. And again, we can see bits and pieces of stuff here in the background. This thing is full of objects sitting right in front of this rover. And they're looking at it. They're not looking at water, signs of life. They found this stuff a long, long time ago. And folks, yes, China's in on it too. Why do you think they want to go there so badly? They want to spend billions upon billions of dollars to go there. For what reason? If there was nothing there to see, they'd be going, eh, whatever. The United States already found out what was up there. There's nothing there. It's clearly just rocks and desolate planet. What's the point in spending money to go up there? For what reason? Well, there's a good reason. Look at it with your magnifiers, folks. Look inside this so-called sand dune. Especially the end of this sand dune. Okay. And folks, I can still see this object right there now. It's like you just can't unsee it after that. Watching that circle. I'm going to go back and forth. Okay. This is the original. Here's the black and white. In fact, I'll even get rid of some of the crappy color and then we'll do that. See it? You cannot unsee it now. These back shapes, like I said, in upper left corner. I'll do the same thing. Look for the lines. That's what we're looking for. Bring the lines out. That's all it comes down to. See that? Folks, you can see there's a bunch of stuff in this area, when I say stuff, you hate to use that terminology because we don't know what it is. You can see from the very left all the way across and coming down towards the rover, there's all kinds of parts here, folks. Now I'm seeing what looks like pipes, structures. In fact, I'm going to put this right in the middle, get rid of this here. And folks, have a look at this. What are we seeing? I'm going to show you the colored version right here. Have a good look at this right here. Give you the whole screen right there, folks. Take out your magnifiers, your eyepieces, and look very carefully at these whiter pieces. What looks like pipes sticking straight out from the back to the front. Structural. Has shape to it. Intelligent shapes. Not rocks. Not a hill. Not a mountain. Things that look intelligently made. Show you the black and white one more time. Right there. Pause it right here, and then I'll go to the little bit darker version of it. So have a look at this. Again, all of the things from left to right in the background. What could these things be? Here's the darker version, which shows the lines a lot better as far as I'm concerned. Let me get rid of this. Have yourself a look, folks. And there you are. Folks, when I first looked at this photo, look for lines. Okay. The left, the upper left area was what caught my eye, that L-shaped line. The other object that looked like it was just underneath it, 
looked like it was squared or rectangular. Couldn't make out what it was at first. But I'm going, why am I seeing these lines? Let's get rid of some of the color. And that made it a little bit more pronounced. I was able to see it better. And then we just took off from there. What could possibly be there? Let's use the burn tool a little bit, just very gently, just to see if we can bring any parts out, individuality kind of thing. And let's see if we can bring these things out separately as opposed to this blur or this centering they put over the whole thing to make everything look like it's just one area, meaning it's just simply sand. And once you get rid of the real bad orangey crappy color, you start to see whites, other colors. Again, where we had that supposed sand dune, there was no sand dune at all. You can clearly see objects were laying in that area. And to me, that long piece is some kind of machinery, or metal, or whatever it may be. It is not natural, and you can see that. You know, after you looked at this background, I'd be curious as to what you folks found, right? Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more videos coming up. You're going to like these. These are pretty cool. And again, exposing the truth one video at a time. Folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.